Well, if your children are busy writing their Christmas wish lists, you might want to check pretty closely before you buy. While the total number of toy recalls and safety notifications is down across Europe in the past three months, it seems that toys are still the most recalled consumer good in Europe, with children's clothes not far behind. A creatively titled bit of legislation called the EU Toys Directive has added to the scrutiny of the industry, and companies are finding it increasingly hard to comply. Well, joining me now is Farzad Hanari. He's the managing director at Stericycle. Um, they're an expert company that advises businesses uh, on product recalls. Um, we're going into the busiest time of the year uh, for toys and children's clothes. Uh, what is it that we should be looking out for? What are the worst offenders in terms of dangerous items out there? I would say it, it, it's across all, all toys, but look out for the, 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 the most common hazards are chemical hazards and choking hazards. So this is where, uh, where the, the chemical the material that the product is made of can pose a, a serious risk uh, by, the, by the child basically tasting the, the, the product. And choking as well, so you're sometimes in some cases you're e easily, it's easy uh, to disassemble products and it forms easily a, a, a choking hazard for children. Uh, basically for children they are vulnerable in nature and need protection so for toys uh, extra attention uh, needs to take place on, on quality control to ensure safety uh, for children and now with the upcoming months uh, Caroline November and, and December this is where manufacturers sell uh, half of their annual volumes of products so uh, we're curious to see the numbers for, for our next quality index as well as you know we we produce a quality index and yes the numbers for toys they sh do show high uh, they actually for more than uh, more than one third of the total consumer product uh, recall, so it's an industry to keep an eye on. Why why is it so difficult then for companies uh, to to uh, obey the, the regulations? The, the EU laws are in place there; they're pretty tough uh, for companies um, when it comes to toy safety. Why what are the obstacles really for companies uh, dealing with this? Yeah, yeah, it, it is indeed. It is a tight regulated market. And yes, the toy directive, the European toy directive, actually took effect in 2011. But it, t it's t it takes time for, for manufacturers to uh, catch up. And, and one of the most, uh, the biggest reasons for why you see this high number in, in toy recalls is the shift from the manufacturer center being in Ch China, going to Eastern European countries and Eastern uh, Asian countries. And these countries are actually playing catch up with regulations. Uh, and this is why we see, uh, why we believe we see a high number in toy, uh, toy recalls. We see that the market is actually in the UK is quite safe. Um, but there is the, the catch up in the other countries that, uh, that, that have this effect. And, and I think overall, when you, when, you look at the, uh, when you look at the market and what needs to be done is, is, is to make the market, into a, a, yeah, to make the world a safer place for our children, is enforcement. And that's the difference also uh, when you look at the US market, because from a regulation standpoint, the markets are quite similar, but enforcement is important. Farzad Hanari, who's director at Stericycle, thank you so much for joining us ahead of, of course, 